dog decided she wanted to go for a walk this morning so I thought I would uh, tag along and while I was at it I thought I might do a little review of my Stickman Stoves wood gas gasifying stove. Kind of in two minds about this thing. I originally bought it because it's class it's described as a hiking stove but for my purposes I think it's a little bit heavy and bulky for hiking. But I really like the way it works and um, this morning I'm just going to cook up some breakfast and make a cuppa. So as you can see I've already got my fuel ready to go and uh, I'll get it started. Plug it in. Hello, Pop. I think you're in the way there. Yeah, you're in the way. So basically this thing has a little fan in the bottom and this is a little battery pack, two AA batteries. There's two sockets to plug it in, one is low, one is high. Probably put this on high to get it going even more. Also comes with a little handle for when it gets hot. And then once it's going, these little bits of metal go on top to stand your pot on. So I get the water going first to get a cupper on, and then I'm going to cook some damper in a frying pan. Dog, would you get out of the way? Come on, move. 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 <laughs> you idiot. Come on, move. Out of the way. What's this? Go fetch. Good girl. really is kind of wet today, which is not helping. So now you can just sit here and feed more sticks in. It still hasn't fully um, fired up yet. When it's going properly, you'll see flames coming out of the little holes at the top of the, the inside. It's kind of doing it. There it goes. I like this thing because I do like cooking on fires. But in certain places where I don't think that's really allowed, such as the place where I'm today, I'm on Crown Land, I'm not sure of the regulations, but most public land you're not allowed to light a bloody fire on unless it's a state forest or something like that. 
So this is sort of best of both worlds. It's a stove, but it's also an open fire, sort of. And the reason I bought it was for hiking. But once I got it, I realised it's um, it's kind of a bit big for that. It weighs about uh, 650 grams, 700 grams, I think. So compare that to a little gas stove, which is what about 100 grams plus the canister, which is another I don't know, 100, 200 grams. This thing weighs significantly more and is also bigger. But for day hikes like today where I haven't packed much with me and car camping and maybe kayak trips, it's a great little thing. Never run out of fuel, except if you run out of batteries, I suppose, but I always carry spare double A's, so it should be a problem. Now it's going. And once it's fully going as well, it shouldn't it shouldn't smoke, so it won't draw as so much attention as a a normal campfire would. Hey, okay, so there it is, boiling away. That didn't take very long, probably five minutes or so, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just melting some butter. Another reason why I like this thing is because it's got the different settings. You've got your high, low, or really it's got low, medium and high. Low would be without the battery pack. Then you've got the two sockets, the low speed and the high speed. For the moment it's on low, which is enough to melt my butter, put in my little damper mix. Get out there dog, watch the camera. Unplug that now. Keep it warm, but it won't burn anything. A bit of water. Mix it up. Mmm, cinnamon in it. Okay, plug it back in. I'll let it cook.
Okay, so at the moment I've just got it running without the uh, the battery pack plugged in, and it's gasifying nicely. In fact, that's probably a bit too hot for what I want, but we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it won't burn. Okay, there's one side done. Try and cook it a little bit slower on the other side because I don't think it's cooked in the middle yet. Fingers, what are you eating? You eating rocks? Yeah. She's a bit shitty with me because I forgot to bring some treats for her today. Okay, so there's breakfast with some honey and a bit more butter melted on the top. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's done in the middle, so the little stove has done a pretty good job. Mmm. Tastes good too. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll go back here. Right, our breakfast is all done and it was delicious if I do say so myself uh, just to run through what you actually get when you buy one of these it comes in this sort of nylon-y canvasy type bag which isn't the best quality it's already starting to fall apart and perish a little bit but so far the actual stove is holding up to use like I said, it comes with a little handle to move it around when it's hot. You need to. And then it comes with the little pot stands. Oh, and the battery pack. All that is what comes in the kit. This one I got off um, eBay. And I think the asking price was about 70 bucks for one of these. But they seem to come up quite a bit. And some of them they have the auction option on so if you're patient and wait you can pick one up for about fifty dollars which considering it, it's not too bad I mean it's not it's not exactly what they advertise it as a hiking stove unless you really like carrying a lot of weight around but it is a nice little stove and it, and it works really well okay so I hope you enjoyed my little review of the stickman wood gasifying stove and have a good one <laughs>